so last night I saw that I had a an update and now I'm at 12.5.2 it's been a couple weeks since an update was available and um, I was excited because I thought that this update would come with um, absolute smart summon where you can you know have the car drive itself to go park somewhere or if you're done shopping you can or you know you can have the car come to you um, I was super excited for that but I think that's actually 12.5.3 if you look on Twitter there are people posting that they're getting that update and there's a couple people showing the smart summon um, so I was really excited about this update because I thought that that would be available for me but it looks like we're not quite there yet but it's got to be coming soon I'm not 100% sure what's really new with 12.5.2 um, but yeah, giving it a test now, I'll be posting some more videos this week, showing possibly some, uh, changes that we can notice. But it's exciting having, uh, full self-driving and seeing those updates. If you don't have FSD, um, you know, the updates may not seem very exciting for you. Maybe there'll be like a new game or a new music streaming app. Um, you may tend to ignore them if you don't have FSD, but when you have FSD, getting those updates is super exciting. I did see something I'm gonna have to read it in more detail but if you watch some of my videos lately you'll you'll see that I complain that when the car gets into a parking lot or like a big parking structure it has a it has a hard time finding exactly where you're trying to go like your exact location um let's see here see if we can see the release notes I think there was some kind of change. I want to, you know, test it out more. Um, well, I better not look at the screen here. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to read it and come back in a different video, but it was something along the lines of like a more accurate location. It said like, for example, there it is. Navigate to sub destinations. Uh, now you can enter a navigation destination. You can select a sub destination, such as a specific terminal at an airport. Okay, so if you go to the airport, instead of the FSD, just go to the airport not knowing where to go, you can specify like airport terminal, you know, A or B. Um, I wonder if an airport is the only use case for that so far, but obviously that's helpful. You know, we'll see how that plays out for other locations such as, uh, shopping complexes like in the mall, you know, you want to park at the right spot, outlets, um, it'd be helpful making the FSD a little bit more precise and where your final destination is. So that's going to be super interesting to try out. Um, yeah, if you see my videos, that's something I've complained about. Is you'll play somewhere on the map, you'll get there, but you know it's not the exact location you're trying to go. If it's in like a, um, if it's a sub destination, so to speak. 
like if you're going to an outlet and you want to go to Lululemon, you know, the car won't know specifically to go to where Lululemon's location is. It would just like, for the most part, stop the car in that general parking lot. So it'll be helpful. So we'll see. Some updates that I can imagine over the coming future is like full end to end. So finding parking, you know, that's gonna be important. All right, let's see how it handles this construction site. There is a guy on the road sweeping. He's getting out of the way. Let's see if we turn a little bit. Yep, we turned a little bit to get around him. That was smooth. Yeah, so I'd like to see that the FSD improve like start to finish. You know, like, hey, I'm trying to go to Lululemon, J just an, an example. Or I'm trying to go to Whole Foods, it's in this complex. Oh, in the car. Okay, never mind. Um, hey, I'm trying to go to Lululemon or Whole Foods. It's in this complex. You know, I want it to actually get me to where the parking is for those specific stores and then find a spot and park for me. You know, if I want to go to the Lululemon or Whole Foods, I don't want it to get me in just the general parking lot for that entire complex and then the car just like sputter and stop and not know what to do. And then I have to take over, uh, go closer to the store and then find parking, you know. Um, it'll definitely be important for the future of FSD to have like end to end where it can finalize the whole process. Because if you have FSD and you test it, you'll notice when you get to the location you're trying to go on the map, once it gets there, it just kind of like sputters around doesn't know what to do for a while and then sometimes eventually you'll just take off and go somewhere else if you let it sit there long enough you know especially for robo taxis you're gonna want specific location finding guys we're getting pretty close to the end of the drive here just wanted to share that there's a new update out we saw something that does a little bit different uh, and the details it really only showed that it uh, like helps find an airport terminal but I'll do some research and see what other situations it'll help with but besides that um, I'm gonna keep testing you know posting more videos and I'm gonna disengage here because I want to keep driving a little bit um yeah i'm gonna post more videos this week and then try to do some where i'm trying to get to specific locations and we'll see if uh the fsd does a better job of you know finding those locations specifically so thanks for watching and stay tuned we'll have more of these videos coming and uh hopefully some smart summon coming soon i'll be super excited to post those videos so stay tuned